What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trevin Peterson and in today's video we have a special guest, Bradley Sutton from Helium 10 and I'm super excited to be basically showing you guys some killer discounts and a new tool that Bradley is going to be breaking down today so I'm excited for him to just basically uh, take over. He's going to do what he does best and as you guys have seen on my channel, he provides a ton of value, so make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment, so that we can keep bringing him back to the channel. So Bradley, thank you for being here. The time is now yours. All right, all right. Well, thank you for inviting me uh, again, and um, I love that little, I, I need to get that little YouTube thing that you have in the background. That is so cool. <laughs> I totally need one of those uh, behind here. I thought but, about uh, maybe selling those on Amazon because they're there you go. Hey. just on Etsy. And so maybe that's an opportunity for someone that's watching the video. Sure. Hey, I'll, I'll give that a five star. Anybody who wants to do that and, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll do a five star review, but uh, don't, don't give me a rebate because that would be breaking <laughs> Amazon terms of service. But anyways, I digress. The first thing you didn't even know about this, but we made live something in, do you, do you have an elite or diamond uh, package your own Helium 10 account? I do not. You I have, oh, man, I, I have the platinum plan that? and I actually had the diamond plan um, and I missed out on the boat because, oh. yeah, so. All right, we, we yeah. got to get, talk to Michelle to, to hook you up with the diamond plan because there's something new. This has nothing to do with the ads where we're about to talk about ads, but we just launched kind of a new way to do product research. Um, and it's, it, it's like these advanced filters within Blackbox. So I'm just going to quickly share that because that, that almost nobody has seen before. Like, uh, we're going to be uh, making the announcement later on. So let me just share my screen. All right, you guys are getting the inside scoop. So make inside sure you watch the video. Yeah. All right. So first of all, where does this come from? Let me just show. If we go to Amazon, right, and we type in coffin shelf. All right. So here I can run x-ray on this page. By the way, guys, look, look how many people are copying the coffin shelf. Uh, <laughs> that, that's fine. Let them do it. We're still selling 30 to 40 a day, and, and they're barely selling uh, anything. But anyways, I'm going to run x-ray. And I have what I call, or not what I call, what is called the two-factor success score. And that's up here, all right? So the, the default for your x-ray guys is it'll be like a success score and it'll be like a number from zero to 100, all right? But what, what's, what's happening is uh, we have this way that you can kind of like change what the, the success score is going off of, all right? So for example, right here, it is basically saying, X number out of the top 10 listings on the page have over $5,000 revenue. And, and this is in the settings of the Chrome extension. You can change this. And then X number of listings in the top 10 organic results here have less than 75 reviews. So what does, uh, you know, opportunity mean for you guys out there? That's up to you to decide. You, you put in these numbers in the back end, uh, which by the way, if anybody wants to see how that is, it's right here under settings. And I just, this is the, multi-factor success score is the default. I switch it to the two-factor success score. And I just want to see, I can change this to 5,000, 10,000, whatever. I can change these reviews, whatever indicates opportunity. So like, what about you, Trevin? Like what, how many reviews do you like to see, you know, like a bunch of the listings have on page one so that you know who? I mean, I, I don't like having a bunch of listings over like a hundred, 120 reviews. And kind of my rule of thumb is the more reviews that the competitors have, the more I need to improve or differentiate that particular product. Um, sure. So I'm shooting for like 100 to 120 reviews max. And okay. then anything below is, is great. All right. Hey, that makes sense. Uh, but you see Tre what Trevin said, maybe mine is different. Maybe yours is different. So like we don't lock you in. Like we're not trying to tell you guys what to determine. You guys pick what works for you just like Trevin did for him. So that's basically the concept of this tool that I'm going to talk about. Now it's in black box. And right now it's just like with almost all of our tools, we first kind of put it in beta for a uh, diamond and elite members. So like if you guys have a diamond plan out there, we'll talk a little bit about a special that you can get for that, but you can see it. But if you're watching this video, like three, four months later, you probably already have it in the platinum plan. But if you're just watching it right when it comes out, this is how you find it. You're going to want to go right here to the keywords tab. All right. And then, a lot of this is the same. So I'm just going to say, hey, look, show me something that's searched for at least 200 times a month. I'm just throwing in a random number. I don't want you guys copying me or anything. Um, show me something that has at least one word in it. You know, one word, uh, more than one word, actually. Actually, no. I want, what about, of course, it has more than one word. I meant over one word, two words. And then let's go ahead and pick the baby category. 
All right. And now here are the new things like this. You have never seen this before in black box, right? Uh, Trevor, these new. things. Yeah, that's new. Uh -huh. Yep. Brand spanking new. So I can say, Hey, uh, $5,000 revenue. I, out of the top 10 listings, the last time helium checked, I would love to see a, a keyword where five out of the top 10 at least had at least $5,000 revenue. Because to me, that means demand. And I'm saying this hypothetically. I'm not For trying sure. to say that this is, you know, what everybody should do. Yeah. I'm just pretending. All right. And then what, what did you say? You like wanted to see them like less than 150 yeah, yeah, reviews. 150. Yep. All right. So let's just say, hey, I would love to see at least seven out of the top 10. I'm, I'm going a little bit more crazy here. At least seven out of the top 10 with less than 150 reviews. Now, this is different than what we have up here because here, these are just based on averages. These are just based on averages, but this is like an exact number, right? Um, if I wanted to, I could even say, hey, show me the ones that have like uh, out of the top 10 results, they had less than, you know, four stars. You know, there, there was like seven of them that had less than four stars. Now, now here we go. Here are some keywords that come up here. And then you, you could see some of these, you know, daycare, infant table, driveway fence. That's interesting. Driveway fence. Let's just take a look at that really quick. All right. Um, okay. So I see a bunch here that have less than 150 reviews. All right. These are the ratings members, not necessarily the number of reviews, but I see, you know, tons of that have less than even a hundred reviews. I got 90 here. We got 28 here. Um, we got 12 here. We got 50 here. So this could be something that I, I, I'm looking at, but I, I know that at least, what, what did I say? What did I put here in the, the thing? I said at least five are, are grossing over $5,000. So right off the bat, I know that there's demand for this, plus potentially there's not that much competition. So this is a brand new feature that those of you who have the diamond or elite plan, you can, whenever you're watching this video, you can, you can see that right now um, in, in the tool. And honestly, um, this is why I love having Bradley on the call because every time he does come, he drops some new cool feature that I had no idea existed. So you guys are getting literally this information at the same time as I'm getting it. So make sure to really utilize this. Um, and, and you were saying that it comes with the diamond and platinum plan. Is that correct? Yeah. The diamond and elite plan for now, because what we do when we have new features, we'll release it first to like diamond and elite because they're smaller groups. And then we, we kind of just like, you know, ha have them play around with it, tell us what they like and don't like. And then when we're really happy with it. Then we release it to, to everybody. Awesome. Makes sense. Now, one thing that's only for diamond and it's an elite and it's been like that for months. And I'm not sure if it's ever going to go away because this is pretty high level is our ads tool. So, this is the number one thing that I think we have launched this year that really helps people out and it just saves so much time uh, is how you can manage your PPC. So right off the bat, I I'm able to see different features that I don't have available in Seller Central like tacos. Now, today isn't Tuesday uh, or might, no, by the time this video comes out, it might be Tuesday. So we, we, we eat tacos, not just on Tuesday, but on any day of the week right here in our tool. And, and that, what, what that stands for is your total A cost, which um, is how your, your PPC kind of affects your sales overall, even on the products that you maybe aren't running like big campaigns on, right? So it's a little bit different of a metric, but sometimes A cost by itself, which, which we obviously have here, which is a terrible A cost because I'm doing experiments. You don't want 50% A cost, guys. Don't follow my example. <laughs> anyways, um, um, it doesn't tell the whole story. Like, like this doesn't tell the whole story because like I literally am doing some experimentation with some sponsored display ads and that's why the A cost is so bad. But if I look overall, hey, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not too bad, all right? So that's a metric that I just like right off the bat. Now, if, we, if, if you were to say, hey, what's my A cost goal? Well, what's gonna happen with, with Helium 10 is it's gonna give us suggestions, all right? Now, there's nothing here right now because I just ran all these suggestions here, but let me just explain what it's gonna show me is, it's gonna tell me to change bids on certain keywords and, and campaigns if I'm like over or under my A cost. So like if I have got 60% A cost on a certain keyword, it's gonna tell me, hey, you need to lower your bid so you can lower your A cost. If I only have 5% A cost, you know, so the mistake that some sellers make is, hey, I'm good. Look, look at me. But they might be leaving money on the table. What you should do in those situations is you should increase your bid sometimes to get even more exposure. So we'll, we'll tell you that too. If it's a way under what your target A cost is, we'll tell you to increase your bid. All of those will come up here. I mean, the only other way to do this 
is if you run your seller central reports and your advertising reports and you put it in Excel file, that, that, that's probably what you've been doing for a while, right, Trevin? I mean, yeah, that's what all Amazon It's kind of do. a pain to download the reports and then sort it and figure out what you want to mm -hmm. do. And having it automated and having everything just built in makes it so much easier. And for me, that's why I use software tools is to make my life easier. Yes, they cost whatever $100 a month. But in the long run, it should pay for itself over and over again if you're using it properly. So absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so guys, even if you don't have ads, we're not saying, oh, it's not worth the effort to do. You guys need to be doing this to your, uh, you know, at least weekly. You need to be downloading your search term reports and you need to be figuring out what you need to do. But I'm just uh, saying how easy it is to do it here with ads because literally two clicks and boom, I'm done. Like I, I've made the changes. New keywords. This, this is going to find all those keywords that I'm getting sales for from an auto or broad campaign that I might have running. Um, now it's going to be able to just say, hey, you, you convert. Oh, here we go. Uh, I actually, I guess since I optimized this yesterday, it already found one. So look, look here. It's saying that, hey, Halloween bathroom towels. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't have known that somebody who wants a coffin shelf like would, would, would be searching Halloween bathroom towels. Like there's no way I would have had an exact campaign on that, but this is obviously from, yeah, it's from my research campaign, which means my broad match campaign. And let's see what happened here. Um, good grief. Look at that. I spent 30, $13 and I got $60 worth of sales. So what does that mean? Like if you saw this Trevin from one of your auto or broad campaigns, what would you want to do with this keyword? What kind of campaign would you want to put that in? You got to then copy and paste that and put it into a manual search and exact search mm -hmm. campaign. And yep. I mean, well, how much were you paying per click? Uh, like 65 cents. Yeah. Really cheap. Yeah. Yep. Really cheap. And so that's, that's the bid I would put. Cause I know I'm obviously paying that, but you know, you would have, how would you have found this again? You would have had to download it, try and find what the search terms were and not get confused with the keyword column in those search reports. A lot of people get confused with those. Yeah, two this is way more keywords. simple, way more simple. Right. This, this just told me, Hey, watch this guys. Watch this. It's saying, Hey, make this part of your manual campaign. You know what? All the, the humongous steps I have to do to this. Watch this. Look how difficult this is. Click, click, boom. It's done. All right. Now it is in my manual campaign. That's all I had to do. Two clicks. It saves tons of time. Halloween shower curtains, uh, negative keywords is another one. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at this. All right. So here we go. Here's a keyword here, which I don't even know what the heck it means, but for whatever reason, Amazon was showing up for this in a broad campaign. Yank. Do you know what a Yankee candle? It, Halloween it's, is? it's a brand. It's a type of candle. It's a brand. Uh, it's a main brand name. So it's a huge, massive brand. And that's oh, yeah, why see, I didn't because know. yeah, I didn't know that. But anyways, Amazon, I guess knew that. And it was showing me like crazy a thousand times. And sure enough, 23 people actually clicked it. But look, I got zero sales. So I just wasted $14 on this keyword that probably is not, you know, because it has nothing to do with a coffin shelf. So what am I going to do? It, what would you do if you put were spending? Negative. You would put it in negative, all right? You would have to go find that campaign and this and that. Watch this, guys. Another click, click, boom here. I want to put this in my negative. Click, click, boom. It is done. That, that's a song. Like, uh, who sang that song? Like, <laughs> Click, click, boom. Anyways, um, that's how easy and, that, and it saves so much time um, here in the, uh, in the ads tool that you guys can manage your PPC software. You guys know that my main job is, is working here at Helium 10 and making training videos and stuff. But on the side, I, I am managing a lot of case study accounts because I want to keep my knowledge fresh. You know, Trevin could not give you guys information about what's changing in Amazon if he didn't have his own product and could see every day what's going on. Same thing me. I can't sit here and like give you guys training videos if I, I have no idea what is happening in the world of selling on Amazon. So I have a lot of case study accounts I'm doing that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, including this one right here for Project X. And I'm running a total of 150 PPC campaigns. Using ads, it takes me one hour a week to, to manage it. There is no yeah. way that I could take one hour and manage 150 PPC campaigns if I was just doing it the other way. So this guys is available for the, um, for diamond members, which we got to get Trevin on, on board to get, to get him a, a diamond account. Um, but most of you guys who watch this video, it, it's going to be too late for this one offer, but still, you guys should still do it just, just to give it a try. But for those of you who are watching this video before midnight on Wednesday night, the last day of September, we got a special offer just for you. It's like so crazy that you guys, I'm actually going to have to give you guys a little 
manual way to do this because this is like kind of breaking the helium 10 rules what i'm giving trevin's audience but since this is trevin i was like we got to do this so if you guys are already on a 10 percent coupon code from trevin that's like hard coded like normally you can't take that code out and put another one in so i want you to try that try that see if it works and if it doesn't work but by the way here's the code or write this down guys uh it'll be in the comments below uh trevin 40 upgrade no spaces trevin 40 upgrade see if you can change the coupon code in your account to that and then upgrade to diamond but i'm pretty sure it's not going to work so those of you who are helium 10 members slide into the dms of helium 10 right there at the bottom of the screen there's a chat in any helium 10 window and then say hey guys i heard that if, as long as i get this done in september i can upgrade for one month to the uh, diamond plan for 40 percent off meaning that it's like 20 bucks or something like that and uh, to try it out and then afterwards you can stay at that plan and just like put your old 10 percent coupon code back uh, or you can just you know if, if, if you're like you know what uh bradley misled me this ads tool sucks which i guarantee you're not going to say <laughs> you can ask for your 20 bucks back and, and they'll give it back but this is a one-time thing we've never done this before override the, your your regular code and then use trevin 40 upgrade talk to customer support if you have any issues but if it's october 1st i'm sorry they can't make exceptions you're not gonna be able to get that 40 percent off but you should still try it out but anyways uh i know i was talking fast but i really wanted to get uh get that message out and hopefully you guys can this can help you guys with your amazon business well that's awesome bradley and i really appreciate you jumping on showing us the the tool in black box which is going to be available if you guys upgrade so i'll put the uh, the link down below on the like, coupon code trevin 40 upgrade and then you'll also have access to the ads platform that's probably one of the most common questions that i get is how do i optimize optimize my ppc campaigns how do i be more profitable this is the tool that's going to help you and you guys get it for 40 percent off so you might as well try it so the link will be down below um i just want to say thank you bradley for being here and at everyone that's listening watching please like the video share it with a friend everybody needs this information um, I mean, Bradley just literally broke down more stuff in 15 minutes than you've probably learned in the last week watching random YouTube videos. So thank you, Bradley, and I appreciate you coming on, and we'll have you soon.